What's up YouTube? So I'm doing a modification to my Nitro Sport. I wanted to upgrade my wheels. I wanted to get some bigger, uh, wider tires for the back, which I did. I went ahead and got these talons back here. I'll show you guys. These are the original uh, rear wheels, just the hub wheels that come with it. And they're smaller. These are 2.2, these are 2.8. So I went the 2.8 on the front and the back. I did not run these same uh, talons on the back as I did on the front. On the front, I decided to go with the Anacondas. Reason being, this is a rear wheel drive truck, so it doesn't actually need any of this kind of tread for the front. And uh, these Anacondas are a little bit smaller, a little bit more lightweight. I also like the profile of them that they're round, so as it turns in the angles, you're not getting that weird contact patch that you would with the back ones. And I just kind of like the look of it, of how the smaller, slightly skinnier ones up front versus the back. The rear ones are plug and play. The front is where you're gonna run into a little bit of an issue. You have to switch from this hub style wheel to the more universal hex. Good thing about doing this is the fact that it's gonna open you up to a lot more wheel tire combinations than you would just with the spindle. So, I'm gonna show you how I did this. The right side's already been done. You can see that's been modded out. So that I got the uh, I got the Anaconda tires on there already. Match the hubs just so it looks good. I think that's a pretty, pretty nice looking profile. So we're gonna go ahead and do the left side here. There's a couple of tweaks and mods that you have to do to make this work. There's parts that you're gonna need as well. The parts are not bad at all. I'll put a, links to those in the description. I will also put the part number list up on the screen here as I swap them out. Keep the hubs. You're gonna reuse those. Instead of the hubs going to the wheels, the hubs go on knees. And you just press them in like that. This whole unit is what's coming off and it's being replaced by a new one with a different axle. Now, I went with a screw kit as well because I wanted to upgrade to using the, uh, the screw throughs instead of the pins with the C-clamps. Two places you will have to drill. Well, one place you're definitely gonna have to drill. You're gonna have to drill out the block here to make the, the this size match because you're actually going with a stampede kit. I believe it's a stampede kit. Other drilling you you may or may not have to do. Pretty sick. I'm pretty certain they sent me the wrong part. These have a little marking on them, left and right. Just make sure you're putting the right one in the right spot. And I'll give you a close up on this whole thing done here, so a still shot, so you can see how the finished product is actually supposed to look. This place is replacing that whole unit right in there and you're just gonna reattach all the screws. This is one of the drill outs. So the diameter of this screw, which holds that, is bigger than the hole down here. The 3 16 is just a little bit too small to get it to go through smooth. So you just end up kind of working it. Because you see how stiff that is? You do not, you don't want it that tight. There we go. That'll work. Now the second thing that I ended up drilling out is the hex hubs. And I think I have to drill these because they sent me the wrong ones. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and order the correct part number again and put on here. The diameter on here doesn't allow it to seat in by the pen. So because I wanna go ahead and complete this evolution today, I'm gonna bore this out so that it fits around the axle. How's that sound? Sounds good? Sounds good. With this setup, the hex actually sits inside the wheel and it spins as opposed to the wheel just spinning on the axle and the bearings rotate within the hub. Now the only thing left is to put this back together. There you go. And the last piece that you will have to replace is you will have to replace the nut, that, the nylon nut that holds the wheel on because it's a different diameter. This will now match your back, but the fronts were different on the original Nitro Sport. I'm gonna get close up there so you can kind of see exactly how this is set up. Probably should have done that before I put the wheel on, but. 
there's the front spindle change out to hex. I think it looks cooler. I like the fact that I have access to more larger selection of tires. Now that I've got hex in front and hex in back. And um, hopefully the extra rubber on the road, especially in the back, will help this thing when it comes to performance.